My name's Chris and this is Charlene. And this is Holly. We've been traveling for the past year in Europe and now we finally made it to Turkey. It's been a long time coming, but today we are going to show you our van from the inside to the outside. Welcome to our van tour. This is a 2009 McLuhi Tandy 650. When we bought it, it had 95,000 kilometers on the clock. We're now approaching 120,000 kilometers, which means that we've done just over 20K. Six gear manual transmission, and it runs on a 2.3 liter diesel engine. Standard dashboard, really, air condition, loads of storage to put our personal items. We've also got a nice stand for our mobile phone when we're using the maps and some nice large mirrors as well which helps us on the road. I've also got this little camera here which helps us when we're reversing. It's very important because Tandy is 7.4 meters long, 2.35 meters wide and 2.7 meters high. Above the cabin area we have plenty of storage. On this side is where I keep my laptop holder. While we are driving, I love to stay on the laptop and it's very handy here. On this side here, we have three shelves and this is where we keep our sunglasses, wallets, purses, masks, so everyday essentials basically. And on this side, we have Holly's backpack, which I am using very uh, often here in Turkey. There are some shopping bags and some protector for our dashboard. In the cabin area, we also have curtains on each side. So whenever we need some privacy, we just close them. Moving on to the dining area. Here we have an L-shaped sofa. We also have a two-seater and two swivel seats. We have a dining table as well. This is where we spend most of our times when we are not outdoors. And this table is very good because it is movable. So we can move the table as much as we like. In here, six people can fit very easily. As you can see, it is very, very spacious. We also have this huge window, which I really love while we are dining or working. So our whole living space is normally super bright and that's thanks to this guy over here. We've got a large skylight in the roof and we can open it in summer to let the breeze in. We also have a mosquito net and a blackout screen for when we want to keep out the light. We have natural light pouring in through seven large windows which are situated all around the van. They each have a mosquito net and also blackout screens for privacy. Above our living area we have two cabinets. In this one this is where we store our hard drives. This is an organizer container, which I find really good because all the tiny bits that I have are stored in here. Here we have some important paperwork and some books. I also have some stationery, some tools here, and an Instax camera. Here we also have a charging point where we can charge our phones because it is directly connected with our solar panel. Chris will tell you more about the electrical setup that we have later on. She is experiencing van life, right? Hmm? And she loves it as well. Underneath the table is where I store Holly's food. We never had a cat, so this belongs only to Holly. <laughs> And this is where I store her food. While we are exploring Turkey, unfortunately, we are seeing a lot of stray dogs. So I put some dog food here. So it's very handy while we are on the move and we spot a dog. On this side here, we have Christopher's photography calendar. And it's really good because every month we get to turn the page and there are 12 images there, which we really, really love. This is all of our camera gear. Here we have some containers and some food and 
the most important thing is my blender which i find it really really good and on this side is where i store holly's bones and we have some hoodies right at the entrance we have our welcome note we also have a collection of pictures from our families and friends that visited us and in this small um, storage here i store holly's collars leash and harnesses and this is also what we use for holly uh, while we are driving so we just buckle her in and we drive One thing I really love about this van is our small kitchen. But we have everything we need in here. It's a multi-purpose workspace. Here we have four hob burner and we also have a grill, which I really use, especially in the morning for toast. And this was one feature that we wanted to have in our van, the oven because in it we can cook delicious meals. Coming on to the sink and drain area. As you can see, there is enough space for two persons in here. We also have this cover, which is used as an extra workspace on top of the sink. We have our tap here. We have chopping boards, some placements, soaps, and all the things that you need in the kitchen. We also have a window here, which is nice and breezy today here we also have an extractor while we are cooking and we have two cabinets in this one is where i store all of the food we have some more chopping boards we have some bowls and some chai tea in this one we have some mugs and glasses teas and coffees we've got some kitchen towels and our plates. As for the plates and uh, bowls, we have a set of malamine, which are really good. And I have put separators between the plates so they don't threaten while we are driving. Plenty more storage at the bottom. And here we've got two drawers, one for cutlery and one for miscellaneous items. And they both have looks like this. If you are feeling a bit warm in summer, we have a fan up here which is really convenient for us. You can set it from here and it can be used as well as an extractor. So this area here is where the TV was. We don't really watch much TV and far less now that we're on the road. So we ripped out the TV and we use this as storage. We've got some biscuits here, bottles, some more of Holly's treats, salt, pepper and different herbs. And most importantly, we keep the kettle here. So when we drive in, the kettle is safe. Another reason why we went for this motorhome is because of this big boy here. So we've got 150 litre fridge, which means we don't need to make compromises at the supermarket. We've also got a small freezer and the whole system works off gas, electric, or even battery. We've also got a regulator here to adjust the coldness and very important, the locks to ensure that the fridge doesn't fly open when we go around the bend. Moving on to the bedroom, this is our French bed. It's a fixed bed and that's something which we definitely wanted because when we first rented the camper van a couple of years ago, we really hated the fact that we had to make the bed every night. So having a fixed bed was number one on our list. And to be honest, we sleep quite comfortably here. For you curious ones, I sleep on this side because I'm a bit taller than Charlene and I like to have my feet hanging off. And this lovely window here is perfect because we get to watch sunrise when we don't feel like getting out of bed. Underneath we've got the heater here which we use to heat the van and obviously to the water heater as well, the boiler, when it works. For all of you that have been watching our vlogs, you've surely seen the heater already. And then we've got a leisure battery here and an inverter. I'll talk about the electrics in a bit later on. The rest of the area underneath the bed is a very large storage area where we keep our tables and chairs. We've got spare fan, spare solar panels, shoes, anything you can think of. And Charlene has even got a pair of roller skates, which is used zero times. This whole storage area is actually accessible from outside. And this storage area here 
is unbelievable because it goes all the way under the bed. While we're out here, I'm also going to show you this other storage where we keep our water pipe, electrical wires, an extension here as well, which we use very often. Now that we're in Turkey, I had to buy another extension, which is this one here for a two pin plug. And that means that we can connect to electric wherever we are. Apart from that, I've got some levelers, which come in handy when you're parking on unlevel ground. A bunch of adapters, depending on what the tap looks like so we can connect to everything. We've also got this, which holds 20 liters of water and we fill it up in addition to our water tank when we're going wild camping for a while. Back in here, guys, and this is our door separator from the living to the bedroom. As you can see, okay, <laughs> we can open it very easily. We use this most in winter when we are heating up this area before we get to sleep. And even in the morning, actually. These are cabinets for Chris. He's got two and I've got three. So these are my cabinets. Go one, two, three and two for Chris. Here we have our jackets and some tops as well. This is where Chris stores his backpack. Underneath here, we got our FPV drone and our bed sheets. I also store there some equipment for exercise. Moving on to this area, we do have another two top cabinets. This one is where I store all of the towels. This is mine as well. <laughs> Don't take this, Chris. Uh, in here, I have some scarves. I also have some hairbands, some belts, you know, accessories. This area is the one that I love the most because here we have a mirror, which is really nice because even when you are sitting on the bed, you can see yourself. And we also have three dryers and one large cabinet. And this one is where I store my underwear, bras, socks, everything. And these two are for Chris as well. Boxers and socks. In this one is where I store my hair accessories, jewelry. This is where I have my collection before I left Malta. All of my friends, they gave me a card or a photo of themselves. So they are all here. In this area is where I have a vase, a candle and a plate for my jewelry. I remove these every time we drive because otherwise they fall. Here, you can't really see it, but there is an LED light going on up to until here because at night it creates a lovely ambience. I'm gonna switch it on now, just for you to see it, if you can see it. Um, apart from this, I also have this night lamp here. And we got two light bulbs over our heads, which are 12 volts. And we have plenty of them around our motorhome. And that's it for the bedroom. is our in-suite and in here we have a full size shower we also have a basin a toilet and a lot of storage we really loved this layout and it's not common to find a motorhome like this because we searched a lot and all that we saw was a combined bathroom where you have a shower and a toilet at the same time but this one is different because this one, we have a separate shower and it also comes with a door. And apart from that, it's so good that we've got the shower behind the bed so it doesn't take up any of our living space. Yeah, that's amazing. We also have a vent for air circulation. And we forgot to mention that we have another one of these in our bedroom. As you can see, we have a huge mirror where I can look at myself and we also have one here and on top of here we have two small cabinets and this is where I store my cleaning products and this is where I store my makeup. 
We also have two shelves up here and we also have a window which is really good in summer. Underneath the sink here we also have some storage and it also has a shelf so it's really good because we store a lot of things here. I'm going to show you how we do our thing in our van. <laughs> so here we have our toilet. We've got a lever here. So we open the lever, we sit on the toilet, we do our thing and then we close it. We put some water in. Okay, and that's it. You close it and magic, it's gone. And Chris does something on the outside that I am not familiar with. So I let him show you. This is the toilet. Very easy to empty. So when it's full, just open it up from here. It's all locked in here. And then once you've found a chemical toilet, you just open it up like this and you can throw it away. Sometimes Charlene pisses on here and it comes on my hand. <laughs> when you're ready, you just put it back in and you're ready to go again. So this is our control panel and this is where we monitor all of our electric and water levels. In regards to power, we run everything through 200 amp leisure batteries and those are over and above the uh, battery that the engine runs off obviously. And these two batteries can be recharged in uh, three different ways really. They recharge automatically when you're driving. They recharge via solar because we've got a 120 watt solar panel on the roof and they also recharge when we're hooked up to the mains. We've got one of the leisure batteries underneath the passenger seat and the other one is underneath the bed. Last year we installed a thousand watt inverter and it's right next to the leisure battery under the bed and this allows us to convert all of our 12 volt energy into 230V which means that when we want to use our laptops or Charlene wants to use her blow dryer or straightener um, it means we, we need to switch on the inverter and it runs through that. The 120 watt solar panel was a perfect addition as well because it keeps us running in the summer months. Apart from the batteries we've also got another two portable power solutions and they also come with three portable solar panels which we charge in the summer months as well. So in regards to electric between the fixed batteries and the portable solutions we're quite set to be honest. So this here is our electric hookup. This is where we connect to 230 volt when we're at the campsite and this is where we fill up our water supply, just like this with the pipe. Underneath the L-shaped sofa, we've got a 120 litre fresh water tank, which allows us to wash the dishes, brush our teeth, wash our face, and even shower. So, totally essential. And underneath them, we've got two gray water tanks. One of them is over here, which takes from the front sink, and another one at the back, which drains from the shower and the bathroom sink. So in regards to gas, we've got two gas bottles. One is a normal refillable gas bottle. And we also installed a LPG gas low system, which means that we can fill it directly at some petrol stations all over the world. We can easily switch between one and the other. And it's really good because we can only fill up these ones at certain places, whereas LPG is much more widely available and again it's very easy to fill up. And I've also got a bunch of adapters which we use depending on which country we're in but LPG is much more easier and cheaper. 15 inch wheels we've currently got all season tires so we're good to go in summer and winter but we want to upgrade them this year. So just a couple other things outside we've got this tool lock um, for additional security and you can just lock this in addition to the door lock and we've also got a Fiamma blind which comes all the way out. Uh, to be honest we don't really use it as much as we'd like to but we have used it a few times in summer when it's not windy. So now at the back of the van this is our bicycle we've got like a little city bike on the bike rack and we use it every now and then for a bit of exercise and over there there's the reversing camera which comes in handy as I mentioned earlier. Just to let you know I've got a live audience. Hey buddy! 
birdie. What do you think of the van tour? Done, guys. <laughs> yeah, I hope so at least. Hope we haven't forgotten anything. <laughs> Inside and out should be covered. Holly slept all the way through. We hope you enjoyed this venture of ours because we've been thinking about it, but we never really had time. So this time we said, okay, we have to go and do it. Now we are approaching one year living in our motor home and it's been an incredible journey so far. We don't regret by choosing this model. It took us six months to choose it, this one. And uh, yeah, we're looking at camper vans, yes, caravans, so everything. Exactly. Before. We were looking so much all the time, every day, but now we are so happy that we made this decision to buy this one. Yeah. It costed us 35k in total. Euros, I Euros, yes. And uh, yeah, it's just perfect for us. <laughs> yeah, it's worth it. Like for long term travel, we're so happy that we didn't go for like a cheaper option or even like a smaller camper van. At first, we wanted to save some money, but now that we've been like nearly one year traveling in it, we're so happy that we went for this option, nice and big. And to be honest, we don't even miss home. It's like it's, really comfortable. I mean, your home. We've got everything that we need. Home on wheels, especially. It's our home on wheels for sure. <laughs> so if you're new here, we'd love to have you subscribed on the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you have any questions or you've got a motorhome yourself or you want to let us know anything, you can drop it in the comments and we'll be checking them out in the coming days. And for all of you that have been following along our journeys in Turkey, don't worry, <laughs> next week we'll be back with a normal vlog. They're coming. <laughs> more Turkey adventures to come. So we'll see you next week. Until then, we're going to have a nap. Ha, 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 ha.